Once you've got your videos on YouTube, you have to make them available to the students somehow. And there are basically two ways to do this. Uh, the edX Edge platform, on which you're currently watching this, which is the one we're using in physics mostly, and using Wattle or Moodle, which we've also used a bit. So this video, I want to talk you through the pluses and minuses of these two things. Now, the ANU has access to edX Edge because of joining the edX MOOC program. Um, Ed Edge is their development environment. It was originally set up as an exact clone of the edX software, but run on less powerful servers, so it could only handle a few hundred students rather than tens of thousands. When people would develop the course, trial them, and then transfer them over to edX proper when they became MOOCs. However, it's become a platform for widespread experimentation, and it's very widely used around the US for putting flipped classes. Over 50% of all MIT classes are currently have some component on edX Edge. It's supported by edX and will not be going away. However, it is not supported by the ANU. So, so if you want to do it, you're on your own. We will help you from physics, and there are other people all over the place that will support you, but don't expect any support from ANU Central. In fact, even getting access to it might involve a battle with uh, Richard Robinson in Central. Wattle, on the other hand, is supported centrally. I'd say this is less of an issue than you might think, because edX is much easier to use than Wattle, so you can learn it yourself, and we here in physics and the other people who've used it will be happy to support you in it. So that's an advantage for going in Moodle. edX Edge is simple, easy to learn, modern, and well documented, very well documented. Wattle is none of those things. An advantage for Wattle is it's integrated with the ANU student systems. That means the students will automatically have an account. Uh, anyone who's de-enrolled will lose their account. Their grades will all appear in one place. And it makes it much easier to combine grades from various sources. For edX, there's no integration. Students will have to sign themselves up. It'll be another password and account to remember. And you'll need to download the grades at the end in an Excel spreadsheet and merge them with the grades from other parts of the course. So that's definitely a plus for Wattle. edX Edge is open and persistent. So you can show your course to someone at another university without giving them an ANU account. You can let the students have access to it before they start the course, and they can still have access to the material three years later, so they can go back and revise their first year material when they're doing third year. Unlike Wattle, which is closed and temporary. So that's a major plus for edX. Wattle has far more options. It's everything in the kitchen sink. You can do an awful lot of things in Wattle. edX, on the other hand, does a few things but does them well. Take your pick on which is more important for that. Let me give you some examples of particular specific benefits. Wattle has one very great irritation, which is that when you make a lesson here, a set of deadlines, so the students are forced to do things regularly as they go through, they can't then view the lesson after the deadline has passed, so they can't go back and revise it. Whereas edX, there is a deadline, they have to get it, so it keeps them up to date, but they can still go and look at the stuff after the deadline has passed. On the other hand, edX has no support for giving extensions. So let's say a student comes to you saying, oh, I was away last week because my grandmother died or whatever it might be, can I have an extension of this assignment? There is no capability for issuing those to individuals in edX Edge, whereas there is in Wattle. And there are a number of minor irritations of both sorts like this. So which do we prefer? Well, we generally prefer edX Edge, I think. The uh, modern interface is good, but your mileage may differ.